hurricane season. And this new research shows that Hampton Roads housing prices drop after a severe weather event. Scenes like this after Hurricane Florence are an eye opener for potential home buyers. Researchers at Old Dominion University found after a severe weather event, housing prices in high risk and low risk flood zones declined about 5%. Houses in high risk zones stayed on the market about a week longer than those not in flood zones, and they found homes in low risk flood areas were affected even more than the high risk ones. Maybe because buyers would expect the ones near the water to flood. So, what's a seller to do? Wait, if you can. If you can't? Well, one of the things you can really do is what's called flood mitigation. Real estate agent Beth Lloyd suggests putting flood vents around your home, which will also bring down your insurance premium. I'll use mine as for instance. It was going to go up to about three or four thousand a year, put in the vents, and it maintained at three or four hundred. So it's a significant value. It'll pay for itself the first year. You can also get an elevation certificate, and she suggests if you have a basement, Fill it in. Get those mechanicals upstairs, whether you have a washer and dryer, uh, maybe you've got a water heater, at least make it maybe a tankless water heater so it's not on the ground. And in case you're wondering how ODU came up with a 5% decline, the study led by assistant economics professor Timothy Comeric looked at housing prices and the time that a house spent on the market after a 2009 nor'easter and after Hurricane Irene in 2011. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.